Story time, story time, fun. Story time with mom. Story time with dad. This is my favorite story time. Under the bed in my secret fort, and I'm gonna read. Never let a unicorn scribble. Ready? I recently got a pet unicorn. <laughs> I know it's hard to believe, but it's true. And everybody kept telling me, never let a unicorn scribble. What? I didn't even know he draws in colors. <laughs> Maybe I'll give him a crayon and test out what they say. <laughs> oh my goodness! Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, unicorns can run on rainbows. So why can't they scribble and draw in color? Coloring is so much fun. I love drawing a dog and a cat. I thought if I gave her just one crayon, what could go wrong? Maybe I'll give her the pink one. Well, I tell ya, she ate it. She ate my crayon. <gasps> yeah, she's a she. <laughs> my unicorn's a she. Now my favorite bright pink crayon was traveling into the belly of my unicorn. This is probably why people are saying unicorns should never scribble because they eat crayons, and you'll be crayonless, and you can't draw in color in your favorite coloring books. <laughs> I can't. So did it occur to me? Maybe unicorns don't know how to use crayons. So I gathered all my crayons and started to scribble. La 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 la. Gonna draw my mom and dad. Oh, I'm gonna put a mustache on my dad. I made a blue scribble, a pink scribble, a yellow scribble, and even a crazy scribble. And now that she could see how crayons worked, I thought I would give her another chance to scribble. I took a teal crayon and placed it right in front of her little nose, and she bent down and looked at it, and she sniffed it. <laughs> and she was like, ha ha, ha ha, ha And she ate half of it. She broke my crayon now, and now I'm really, really, really gonna be with no crayons. Listen to me, unicorn. We don't eat crayons. We draw with them. Got it? But then I realized Unicorn couldn't hold a crayon like I could. Maybe that was why she was eating them. She doesn't have hands. She has hoofs. So I had an idea. Mm-hmm. It was bubbling in my little head. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Maybe if I tried a few crayons to her horn, tied them. <laughs> that would help her scribble. Within seconds after, after glitter scribbles started shooting out like water from my fire hose. <laughs> They were on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls. They were even on my lamp. <laughs> I've been begging my mom to redecorate my room for a while, but I don't think this is what she had in mind. Oh no, if my mom sees this rainbow drawing paintings all over, <laughs> then I heard a noise on the hall. That was it. <gasps> that was it. I was going to be so much trouble. I think my mom is coming. I hear her clatter of her feet. I out of my room and blocked the door before my mom could say anything. I started to explain the mess she was about to see. Well, it started and I, I, I heard it was never to let a unicorn scribble, but that's when I had to find out why. So I gave my unicorn a crayon and then she ate it. Then I tried to teach her how to scribble because I'm a nice person. And then she ate another crayon and I couldn't be crayonless because I'd have to ask you more crayons. So I tied the crayons to her horn and boy, <laughs> that was the horn was magical and the scribbles started shooting out like a water fountain and they were so sparkly and it made such a mess and uh, oh my gosh i'm so sorry mom oh, God, don't take my unicorn horse away i love him oh, just just if you're gonna go in my room so my mom peeked around the corner and smiled you didn't make a mess you made a glowing masterpiece honey when i turned around all the scribbles were right on my picture, on my easel. Not on the ceiling, not on the walls, not in my lamp, not in my dolls, not in my bed, not on my floor or my ceiling. They were all on 
one big piece of paper, and it was the most amazing art. All this time, people wanted me to stop unicorns from scribbling, but it could be because they ate crayons or because it was so messy. But if Maya could ever never scribble, she would never have learned how to make this masterpiece. So next time you hear a unicorn shouldn't scribble, just remember, all great art starts with a scribble. And even unicorns have to start somewhere. And look what my unicorn did. <laughs> I think my unicorn is amazing. Thank you for listening. And check out some Sir Herbert Sneaky's books at Amazon, like Skip Boots, Big Safari Adventure. <laughs> the end.